Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you guys are doing really wonderful, and so we're going to be taking a look at what is going on out there. So we'll briefly look at the Eastern Pacific, because there is a Cat 5 hurricane over in that basin, and of course the main focus will be on the Atlantic, and Hurricane Lee in particular. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so, and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, so let's kickstart things in the Eastern Pacific. And here we can see this monster hurricane churning over there. This is Hurricane Hova. And we can see that it is well defined and it became a Cat 5. It rapidly intensified into a Cat 5 yesterday. And so now it is sustaining that intensity and it's likely to get a little bit stronger. So let's go on to the cone forecast for it. And here we can see it. So maximum sustained winds of Hova are 1. 160 miles per hour and it is moving to the west northwest at 16 miles per hour so it's well to the southwest of the uh, southern tip of the Baja California Peninsula and it should continue this general direction over the next couple of days and is not going to be a problem for anyone but I mean imagine this monster actually affecting somewhere so fortunately that is not going to be the case so Hova is a cat 5 hurricane and it will sustain that intensity for for a little while over there. Now we're hopping over into the Atlantic Basin where we've got our active cyclone. So we've got Lee. We also have Invest 96L which has a higher chance to develop by the way. So within the next couple of days it could become Tropical uh, Depression 14 and then eventually Tropical Storm Margot, maybe in the long term even a hurricane. But uh, Lee is the main concern. We're gonna look at these in a bit more detail but let's zoom into the Caribbean and see what's happening. And we still got that trough that extends into parts of the Northern Islands. So as we head throughout today, there could still be some periods of uh, heavy rainfall and thunderstorms here and there. Sections of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and even parts of Hispaniola as well. But then as we head further into the east, of course, there are drier conditions there, so much isn't expected. Across portions of Central and Northern South America, we do see some thunderstorms popping up, sections of Mexico, near Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, even going down to Costa Rica uh, and Panama and going into sections of Colombia and Venezuela. We do see some thunderstorms popping up and uh, likely some heavy rainfall in some spots as well. But then as we head through today, that daytime heat might contribute to more of such activity, uh, especially in the afternoon to evening hours. Now, as we take a look at the rainfall map, that is exactly what's being depicted here. Maybe some uh, scattered showers across parts of the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands as well. So let's see what's going to be happening. And those purples indicate the high rainfall total expected in association with Lee. So that's going to remain offshore for the most part. However, there is a possibility that some of the northeastern islands could experience tropical storm conditions as stated by the National Hurricane Center. So we're going to be looking at that in a moment. Now we're going on to this map here and here we can see the remnants of Franklin. There's still a chance of seeing some regeneration up there, but we've got 96L. Here we have it. 80% chance of seeing tropical cyclogenesis or development as we head into the next seven days and so it's currently uh, likely inducing some heavy rainfall across parts of the Cabo Verde Islands but the good news is that it's going to be out to sea for the most part so even if it should become a strong hurricane out there it is likely not going to be a problem for anyone so let's see what and see what's going to eventually happen uh, happen with it but it is likely to become our next name storm Margo and now head into the real deal of this video We've got Hurricane Lee out there. So Lee hasn't intensified a whole lot since yesterday. And so it is sustaining winds of 80 miles per hour. However, that rapid intensification is expected to begin soon. And as we look at this infrared satellite imagery, there you can see uh, those shades of grays and that purple. So that is an eye wall that is trying to form within the cyclone here. So it's trying to take advantage of its conducive environment 
environment and the National Hurricane Center is expecting peak winds of 155 miles per hour. That's a high-end Cat 4 that they are forecasting, but I think that this could make it to a Cat 5. And again, as I said earlier, northeastern islands could be impacted by this. There could be tropical storm conditions because even as we take a look at the cone forecast here, the center is going to be passing well to the north of the Amazon, but that's just the center, not the size of the system, and it is expected to grow. So with its size out there and uh, proximity to the northeastern islands, there is a chance of tropical storm conditions being felt, periods of heavy rainfall, those gusty winds, and of course, those rough seas are going to be there regardless. So as of right now, Ali is moving to the west-northwest at 13 miles per hour, and we see that once it becomes a major hurricane, maybe by late tonight, heading into early tomorrow morning, it is going to be maintaining that status at least through to uh, Tuesday of next week. So it's only going to be strengthening, but there might be some fluctuations due to eyewall replacement cycles. Those are very common, especially with strong hurricanes out there. And the cone is not yet depicting that turn up to the north. And even though there's a chance that this could continue west a little bit longer, models are in pretty good agreement in regards to that turn up there. So as I've mentioned in previous updates, if you're in Bermuda, maybe even northeastern parts of the U.S. and going to Atlantic Canada, you might want to keep an eye on the system, but there is no guarantee of impacts at this point in time. That's the simplest answer out there. And so as we look at the key messages for Lee, we can see here that it says Lee's forecast to become a major hurricane by early Friday with its core moving north of the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico this weekend into early next week. There is the potential for tropical storm conditions to occur on some of these islands over the weekend and interests there should monitor future updates to Lee's forecast. Swells generated by Lee are expected to reach portions of the Lesser Antilles on Friday and the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, the Bahamas, and Bermuda this weekend. These swells are likely to cause life-threatening surf and rip current conditions. So uh, that is what the National Hurricane Center has on Lee. Again, tropical storm conditions will be possible. That doesn't mean that they are sure, but should this track shift a little bit to more to the south then uh, we could see maybe a watch being issued at the most but that's not something guaranteed at this point in time guys but that is pretty much what's going on with lee again it is in a conducive environment it is going to be rapidly strengthening and is likely to become uh, a high-end cat 4 potentially cat 5 hurricane i still think that uh, cat 5 intensity is likely so we'll see what happens with it but the good news is that the worst of it should remain offshore of anywhere meaning that it's not going to be making landfall as a cat 4 or a cat 5 hurricane but again if you're in bermuda you want to keep watch because uh, even if it misses the island slightly, even if uh, it doesn't make landfall, it could be close enough in proximity to result in life-threatening impacts. And so that is what I wanted to share with you guys in this update. Again, we've got a major Cat 5 hurricane Hova over in the eastern Pacific. We've got Invest 96L, which is likely to become Margo within the next several days, may potentially become a hurricane. But aside from the Cabo Verde the Islands, which are currently experiencing maybe periods of heavy rainfall from this, it shouldn't be much of an issue to anyone. And by the way, in the long term, maybe sometime next week, models are sniffing at something else, another tropical wave making its way west, potentially to the Caribbean or turning up who knows but uh, I've been watching the models and that has been a little bit consistent so maybe by uh, sometime next week we'll have something else to focus on out there but that is pretty much it for this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions as usual please leave them in the comments I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and as always remember to be otherwise